Welcome back, everyone, into a special Thursday night edition of the Full Court Press. I'm Tanner Barch. He's Nate Falk, and we're glad you could join us here tonight. And Nate, it's the final week of the regular season, and some of these teams, you know, the last chance for the seniors to even have a chance to play on their home court uh, in a great basketball game. As a senior, you want to finish strong. You want to leave your mark on the program as you leave, and it's always an exciting time, Coach. Your teammates want you to leave on a high note, so that's what's going on now, Tanner. Yep, and everyone is bringing the energy, so let's start off with our Brinson and Sons, our fan-voted Brinson and Sons matchup of the week, and it's not much of a surprise. It's the rival game, rivalry game between Hoggard and New Hanover. Let's go out to Brogdon Hall, shall we? And this one did not disappoint. High flying from the get-go, Hoggard trying to win the conference title outright. It's the sophomore Brady Rankin putting on the move straight to the basket, scores through the contest. Nice take by Brady. He's expanding his game to more than just a jump shooter. Yes, he's only a sophomore, but the heady ball movement for the Wildcats, Jaheim Marshall to Malik Myers, back to Marshall. That's Buddy Ball at its finest. Little ping pong back and forth, and let me tell you what, this freshman, Malik Myers, mm. is gonna be a problem for years to come. My word. Good drive off that high ball screen and juke and take. This one will go back and forth all night, then it's a huge shot. It's Brady Rankin Gotta again. switch that, you can't give him any room. He had space, knockdown. And that gave Hoggard some breathing room at that point. The Wildcats tried to stay in the game, make it interesting down the stretch. But how about this? The Vikings just finding a way to get it done. They clinched the conference championship, winning this one 50 to 47, the final score. And Nate, I was there. It really wasn't a pretty game at all. A ton of missed shots for both teams back and forth, kind of low scoring. But in the end, the Wildcats really do enough to come out with the W. And you talked about it. I'll give you props for this one. You said at the beginning of the month, February is Hoggard's month. See what they did here in this month. Hoggard and New Hanover over the years, long time, have always in the month of February just got it done. And case in point, I know Coach Queen's happy uh, for his guys. I also know he's happy with the way they've matured on the offensive end. We talked about that uh, a couple weeks ago, and they really got it click on the offensive end down the stretch. They'll be the number one in the Mid-East Conference Tournament.